Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. Today we are unboxing and taking a first look at the Xiaomi Mi 6. And for those of you that don't know anything about this phone, we have the Snapdragon 835, so the same CPU that they used in the Samsung Galaxy S8. We have 6 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, and the phone is running Android 7.1. Well, before we go any further, don't forget to press that like button and let's check out the phone. Alright, so we have the same box that we've seen for previous Xiaomi devices on the front there we can see that we have 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage and on the back we see some of the specifications, however there is a lot of Chinese in there. So I have my knife here, we'll cut open these uh, plastic seals ah. and another one on this side and ta -da! So, wow, this phone is so small. So we have a 5.15 inches display with a 1080p resolution. Now, compared to the massive screen that we have on the S8, well, this looks very, very tiny. So let's see what we have in the box here. So first of all, we find the silicone case, which is very unexpected. I wasn't actually expecting to get um, anything like this. So we get the silicone case um, with that. We have this so you can remove the sim card tray a little booklet that's all in chinese as you can probably tell the cable so this is a usb-c cable as you can probably tell if the camera focuses today all right so the usb-c cable and the power adapter and let's get uh, this closer to the camera Right, and that's all we get in the box, so let's leave that um, aside and uh, let's check out the phone. So first of all, we have this plastic on the back that I'm gonna remove. And I guess the back it's made out of glass. It feels like um, it's made out of glass. The cameras here on the back, so we have two 12 megapixel cameras and I'm very excited to see how um, these cameras will do. Next to the cameras there we have a dual tone flash and all the way at the bottom we see the Mi logo. So the back does look very very good and the phone is so small, I can't believe how small the phone is um, whenever I'm holding it. So on the right hand side here we have what looks to be like the power button and the volume keys and uh, I guess these ones are made out of metal, I can't uh, say for sure. On top we have, what's that, that looks to be like an IR uh, blaster. We also have um, a secondary microphone and on the other side we are gonna find uh, the SIM card tray slot and uh, we might as well just uh, check out uh, the SIM card tray slot and see if this phone takes um, SD cards. So I don't believe that this phone takes um, SD cards so I believe that you can only install uh, two SIM cards but um, I'll have to check that uh, out uh, in the full review. So we'll uh, leave that aside and let's remove this cover from the top. Well, we still have uh, rather large bezels at the bottom and on top there, so not, uh, not that cool looking as the Samsung Galaxy S8. So on the front there, uh, as you can probably tell, uh, we have a front facing camera, we have the speaker and uh, I don't really see where the notification light um, is sitting. And all the way at the bottom we're gonna find the home button which is also a fingerprint scanner. At the bottom here we have what looks to be like two speakers, however I believe that only one of them is a speaker and the other one is a microphone. And we also have the USB-C charging port. Now, I don't see a 3.5mm audio jack anywhere, so that is, um, that is strange for a Xiaomi device. Alright, well uh, we might as well uh, turn this on and uh, check out uh, the screen and see how the screen looks. So we have a resolution of 1080p. Well, I mean for 2017 and uh, considering this is uh, like a high-end device, I don't think a 1080p resolution is uh, the best, but uh, that's what we get. And it's already on, so it's starting up. So let's choose English. Let's connect to the Wi-Fi. And we are going next. We're going to agree to everything. We'll skip this step. Next, we'll skip this and we can uh, set that up later. Sure, let's set up the fingerprint, we'll uh, choose one of these, confirm. So the fingerprint scanner is sitting right here in the home button. 
and I'm very curious to see how uh, fast this uh, works in day-to-day uh, -day usage so next we'll uh, just leave it to the first one I guess next and it's done alright so the first thing I noticed is the fact that we don't have the Google Play Store anywhere now on the Xiaomi Mi Note uh, was kind of easy to actually install it I uh, went to the Xiaomi store so let's uh, see if that works so it doesn't look that I can get the Google Play Store going uh, as of now I'm gonna have to try um, installing it a different way but as of now I can get it um, going all right so let's check out that fingerprint scanner quickly so all you have to do is touch the, the fingerprint scanner and it will unlock it is uh, very quick as you can probably tell like as soon as you touch it it uh, unlocks so very very quick now this comes pre-installed with a whole bunch of uh, garbage Chinese apps so if we go to additional settings here and um, just looking for the apps that are installed system apps, installed apps you're gonna see a whole bunch of um, bullshit apps that um, you're gonna have to uninstall because they're all um, useless and uh, realistically you don't have any use for them so definitely a lot of them that um, are already installed and uh, nobody's gonna need them so I went ahead and I uninstalled basically every single app that I didn't need so now it's much much cleaner than before so I still don't have the Google Play Store, it doesn't work, so this happens uh, whenever I'm trying to run it. So I'll have to try installing this um, a different way. However, I installed the Antutu Benchmark and the Geekbench for, uh, from the Xiaomi Mi Store and I'm gonna run those and um, we'll check out the results first. Alright, so the score that we get on the Antutu Benchmark is 180,000 and the temperature at this time it's 33 degrees um, supposedly. Here we can see the screen resolution, so we have um, the 1080p screen resolution, the rear camera, we have two 12 megapixel cameras, that's the RAM available and the storage. And next we are going to run the Geekbench 4 so we can see the score that we get on that one. And secondly, on the Geekbench 4, we get a multi-core score of 6717 and a single-core score of 1923. This must be the highest scores that I've ever, ever seen. Here we have the operating system, the CPU, and the RAM. So, yeah, definitely very high scores on the Antutu Benchmark and the Geekbench 4. Now, let's open the Settings app and see if we find anything um, out of the ordinary, something that we haven't seen uh, before, but uh, this looks very, very similar to what we've seen for previous um, Mi devices, so everything is the same, really. System apps, the same uh, thing from before, permissions and so on, so nothing that um, special out here, and uh, keep in mind that we don't have a slot for um, an SD card. And the last thing I want to check out in this quick unboxing is the camera app. So the camera app looks very similar to what we've seen um, in the past for Xiaomi devices. However, this time around we have a 1x right here. So if we click on that, um, it actually uses the second lens to zoom in. So very, very cool. So um, that's going to be useful in a lot of conditions. And with this button, we can probably get um, that cool um, bokeh effect um, looking. However, I don't really have the right setup on the desk here. Um, take pictures like that but uh, here are a couple of pictures that I took um, downstairs so you can see that um, they do look um, very very good so aside from that um, the phone looks okay but not as spectacular as the Samsung Galaxy S8 and um, for now I'm having trouble um, installing uh, the Google Play Store because uh, it still doesn't work so uh, there you have it this is the xiaomi mi 6 um, i will definitely have a full review in a couple of days after i get to use the phone and um, have a better feel for it and hopefully by then i can um, install the play store uh, and um, i can tell you how i actually did that all right guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did like it uh, don't forget to press that like button don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching